Hello and welcome. If you've bought one of my uh, online classes, one of my workshops, or one of my video lessons, first of all, thank you very much. Um, and secondly, what you need to be able to do is download the resources that accompany that session. And by the resources, I mean the notated, uh, the notation, the notated music, the sheet music, the handouts. There's exercises. There's th little theory things often, and there's play along tracks as well. Um, and so I made this little video to talk you through the process and show you how it works. I'm going to do a screen share in a minute. I'm hosting everything on Google Drive now, um, and there's some great advantages to that. It's pretty flexible. You can you can use thing. You can do it online. You can just do it on screen. You can download things individually, or you can download the whole all the files as a group as well. However, personally, I don't find it particularly intuitive to use so I've been fiddling about with it for a bit and um, and so I thought I'd make this video to show you how to navigate around the Google Drive when you get in there so that you can get all these uh, resources for my classes without any trouble um, the first thing I need to say is that you do not need a Google account you do not need a Google Drive you do not need any to sign up for anything like that this will work straight off without you signing in or opening up any new accounts and that's why I've done this so when you click on the link that I've sent you it should take you straight to the the folder with the files in which I'll show you in a second the other thing you need to be aware about is um, zip files so there's some different options when we get into it essentially what a zip file is is um, it's when you when you want to download uh, a whole bunch of files so a whole load of files. What it does, it it packages them all up together into one zip file, and then you download that zip file to your machine. Um, now, what you need is at your end, you need a bit of software then to unpackage that zip file. If you have, if you're using a laptop or a desktop computer, then all that's built in, and it should automatically unzip the file. Okay, so that should be fine. However, if you're using a laptop um, uh, uh, sorry <laughs> if you're using a mobile phone or a tablet then uh, your your device may or may not be able to unzip things automatically you can get third-party apps that you can download and, and install and that will do the unzipping for you so that's an option but if you're just using it for straight from the shop um, you may not be able to uh, use the zip option so the reason I've using Google Drive now is that this gets around this. You can essentially, you don't have to have the zip option. You can if you want to, if you want, it's it's quick. If you know how to use zip files, then you can do it and that's easy. But if you, if you don't have the facility to unzip files, then you can still use this system. Okay, so that's that's the whole point. But as I said, it's not that intuitive. So let's have a look at it. I've got a screen share here now. So when you click on the link, <clears throat> it should take you straight into something like this. As I said, you don't need an account. It just will open up straight into this this Google Drive window up here. So this is Google Drive. This is their little kind of logo. Now the first thing you need to know about is this button over here on the right. And what this does, this uh, switches how you view the files on the screen. It doesn't change anything, but it does make it does mean it looks different. So depending how your settings are, you it might open up one way or the other. So if I click on that, it changes, it puts things in a slightly different place on the screen. Does that make sense? So, so at the moment, what we're in, we've got the All Blues Downloads. So this is my top level of my folder that I'm in. This is the other thing that's a bit weird. The folders just show up at the top here as, as text. It just gives you the name of the folder. It doesn't show you physically a folder. So that can be confusing. So we're in the folder that's called All, All Blues Downloads. Okay, and within this folder, I've got three other folders. Okay, um, and then within those folders are the files. Okay, so when we change the view, we've, we're switching between list view and grid view. It doesn't look very different if you've only got folders. Okay, but if I open up now, if I click on this, this is going to open this folder, and now we're looking inside the exercises folder. And now what we've got is we've got some files of some sheet music and then another folder within it, right? So now it does look quite different. So this this may be how things look when you first open it up. If I click this button, can you see now it goes back to a different view? So these are the same files, 
they just look different it's a different way of viewing the files okay I'm going to use this list view I find this a little bit more um, sort of natural so now here's the thing can you see as I click on, on uh, if I've, as, I, as I put my mouse over them something's popping up here so of course what you can do here is if you just want to download individual separate files you just click on that and it just there it goes Do you see that that's it downloading so if you're using a tablet or a phone this is probably the best way to do this and you can just download the files separately and they should open up on your device now there's another option here if I click on the actual file okay what's gonna happen it's gonna open that up and we can see the sheet music now what it's doing is it sh I, I'm basically I'm viewing this on Google Drive at the moment it's not downloaded okay I mean it has because I pressed that but if, if I hadn't pressed that button and you just click this button here you just click on the file what you're doing you're viewing it so if you're using a tablet you might just wanna you know open it up and play it from viewing it on your screen on your tablet screen from this point you've now got two options up here can you see these buttons this is the other thing look when I come away when my when I come up it doesn't it, these sometimes these buttons disappear so you've got to just move things around a little bit to get the buttons up so up here now I've got the choice I can print that out so I can print this sheet music out or here I can download it okay so does that make sense so we can either just view it on the screen or we can print it or we can download it if I want to go back to my folder what I do is I press this little button up here this little arrow and that takes me back so now I'm back in my folder with all the files let's have a look here's another folder within a folder can you see now we've got three folders up here We're into this sort of third level of hierarchy so I've got some uh, scale patterns here some mixed lydian modes again so I can click on that I open it up I can see the music the sheet music I could just use it like that I can print it or I can download it yeah okay going back or if I don't want to open it up I can just jump straight to downloading it by clicking on that bit there download yeah now if we're in grid view let's see what happens here can you see now that little arrow is popping up uh, up here so this is my download arrow so again I could just download that by clicking on there there we go or if I click on the actual file then it opens up so it's you know it's just it's just getting used to how this net system works right so let's go back to our top level here top level hierarchy all blues downloads and now let's look at the play along tracks okay so I'm gonna just click on that now you can see it looks slightly different because these are audio files these are mp3s so again I can change that to grid view by clicking this button if I want or uh, what they call gallery view I think yeah so again if I now what happens here is if I open up this if I click it to it'll open it up and it will play the track from within Google so I can listen you can just use it like that and what you're essentially doing here is just this is what they call streaming so you need to be connected to the internet for this to work okay the other option is now I could download it to my device click the download and it's going to download that audio track to my device okay so again it's the same process with the PDF of the sheet music so let's go back again all right now another option like I said instead of opening it up I could just click on the download bang and I'm just going to download that file separately so far we've not had to deal with any zip uh, files at all so that's that's the way to get around if you if you don't have the option to unzip things you can just download things directly individually like that and finally let's look at the parts in here you've got all the parts okay so this is you probably don't want all to download all that lot you probably just want the bit you want so if you just want the piano part again you can either click on it and there's your piano part to all blues and from here I can print it or I can download it or if I go back I can I can bypass that and I can just click download straight away okay now what you've also got up here is this download all and what that does is it will download everything in the folder so if we go back to the top level hierarchy and we click download all what we're going to do is we're going to get everything including all the folders now remember what I said before when it does this when you do a download all this is when it creates a zip file so I'll click on that now and you'll see what I mean can you see down here it's preparing the download 
So what this is doing is zipping one file. So what it's doing now is it's bundling up everything that's in all those folders, all the play along tracks, all the parts. And oh, there it went. Do you see that? It only takes a few seconds. And what it does is it creates one file from all those files, and then it downloads that that file. And and that file is is the zip file. So you have to have the option to unzip it at the other end. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so as you can see, there's quite a few options there. If you want, if you if you are comfortable using zip files and you know what you're doing with that, and, you, and that's not a problem, <clears throat> then it's probably the quickest thing is just download the whole lot. Um, but if you're using a phone or a tablet, and maybe you're you know you don't want to use up too much memory because you don't you know you don't want all the files that you stuff that you don't need. Um, or if you're using a phone or a tablet that doesn't have the facility to unzip files, then what you'll what you'll want to do is go through each individual file like that, go into the folders, open them up, and and download the tracks and on the um, and the sheet music one one file at a time. So I hope that makes sense. Um, have a little play around with it and uh, see how you get on. And uh, like I said, it, it's 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 a pretty uh, sophisticated, you know, pretty useful system. Um, but it's not that intuitive when you first look at it. But I think after you know a bit of playing around, you'll get the hang of it. It'll be fine. But if you've got any trouble, do get in touch. Drop me an email, and I'll be, try and help you out if I can. Thanks very much. See you soon. Bye bye.